Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV. And in this video, I want to ask the question and explore this idea. Should we be concerned that Tesla's doing away with their physical retail stores and going 100% online? I mentioned in my last video about the $35,000 Model 3 pricing and how bittersweet this decision is. This is because Tesla has managed to finally offer a $35,000 all electric vehicle and at the same time say they're going to lay off employees. This low priced EV is the culmination of Tesla's secret master plan that Elon Musk introduced on August 2nd, 2006. He shares that their goal was to build sports cars, use that money to build an affordable car, and use that money to build an even more affordable car while doing the above also provides zero emission electric power generation options. The path that Tesla took to introduce this $35,000 Model 3 was not exactly what I envisioned in my mind. In fact, Fred Lambert from the publication Electric summarizes this extremely well in a recent podcast episode of theirs. How they did it though. So people assume that the way they, they, they would do it is by production efficiencies, economies of scale, make, making some parts cheaper and be able to produce a car for less and uh, pass some of those savings to, to customers, uh, achieving that lower price point and mass adoption. That was how it was always sold to us by Tesla. Now, how they apparently achieved it the way it was presented to us uh, yesterday with uh, the blog and then we had a press call with Elon, is that the main factor that uh, contributed to the cost reduction here is that Tesla is moving its entire sales strategy online. The only way to buy a car now is going to be online and that's going to result in closing stores and firing retail employees. With that said, I want to explore some concerns and some excitements about moving to 100% online. Let's first dive into the concerns. Number one, this decision seems to be incredibly abrupt and sudden, catching a lot of people, including Tesla employees, by surprise. Usually when you make such a big decision like this, especially as large of a company as Tesla is, you give everyone, including the employees who are working hard to further this mission, a little bit more time in advance. Second, though we don't know to what extent, this most likely means that employees at these retail locations will most definitely lose their jobs. Hopefully, many of them can find homes on the service side of things where Elon seems to be putting a lot of time and attention in growing out. Third, for people who want to kick the tires on these cars before spending tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars, this makes it exponentially more difficult. One of the values that retail stores provided is the idea for people to come in, look at the cars, sit in them, and ultimately do a test drive to decide if it's something that they want to buy. Fourth, moving an automotive manufacturing company to online sales only is a huge leap of faith and a big risk for that matter. Will consumers go for it? Will they spring for buying cars solely online without test driving it beforehand? Now let's move to the things that make me excited about Tesla moving to an online only sales strategy with the first one being the obvious that now there's a, a low cost option for a Tesla. And this should ultimately open up more of a buyer pool for people to be able to get into the Tesla ecosystem. Second, it's incredibly efficient. Tesla will no longer have the high overhead that's associated with retail spaces, not only the actual leases, the physical locations, but also the inventory that's being housed at these locations, as well as the employees and the bonuses that are tied to these employees. This ultimately impacts and benefits the end consumer as the price of these Teslas has gotten less expensive. 
Third, if Tesla manages to pull this off successfully, moving all of their sales to online, this means that they're going to become a more nimble company. They're going to be able to make changes on the fly without impacting physical locations. This also means that at a worst case scenario, if the market sees a recession, they will be far better off than most automotive companies and the franchises that are tied to those companies. Last, Tesla has an incredibly engaged owner community, and this could be a fantastic opportunity for owners and Tesla owners clubs across the globe to help step in and be advocates for the company. This could potentially look like a revisited or reduxed version of the referral program without the expensive prizes. What if Tesla created a global leaderboard for Tesla owners clubs or individuals and it kept tally of how many referrals that that group of people sent to Tesla that resulted in sales and as a result of whoever are the top five or ten clubs or owners that got them access to invites to events like the Model Y event that's coming up this March 14th. This could be a really great way for Tesla to revive the referral program with a little bit more economic stewardship involved with it. Finally, if there's any automotive manufacturer that can pull off this online sales strategy, it's Tesla. They've got an incredibly loyal and tech savvy following. Shopping online provides consumers the ability to browse and peruse at their own convenience without being pressured or hassled. It allows for a consumer to make a buying decision when they are ready, not when a salesperson is ready. In fact, it reminds me a lot of how Amazon retrained consumers to buy everything from A to Z on an app. Many critics thought no one would buy a book without physically reviewing it first. Amazon made it easy and convenient to buy books, ship them quickly, and if necessary, return them without a hassle. Anyone who says that Tesla can't do the same thing with cars lacks an understanding of history. Innovative companies have changed consumer behavior throughout the 20th and 21st century. Don't believe me? Look up the Sears catalog, the Model T, radio, television, and internet. They were all ideas that created markets where they did not exist before. Sean Mitchell, All Things EV, signing off.